So the way to force your left brain to go away and go on holidays is to use your measurements on the cup because the measurements never lie, do they? When, when you measure the overall height of the cup, so I'm gonna lock my elbow, shut one eye, and put my pencil up at right angles to my line of sight. Let's say we measure the overall cup. Um, and then I'm just gonna ignore the handle for now and just go from the left side to the right side of the main part of the cup. And so I've measured the overall height. Just Let's just forget about this point for a second. That's the overall height. Now, how wide is it compared to how high it is? And to me, it looks like it's about two thirds. Mm -hmm. Just where my fingernails are. Yeah. You see my thumbnail and my fingernail? It's about two thirds. I'm gonna center this into the middle of the page somehow like this, but just to the left a little bit. So if that's my overall height, I've gotta make this other one two thirds. So I'll just put my marker in here somewhere. And about two thirds of that one is somewhere about there. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere about there. So that's where my cup's gonna be. What we wanna find out now is how far down this thing is from the top to the bottom, from this top to this bottom, how far down is this? So from the very tippy top of the cup to the bottom and put my locking my elbow so that my arm length doesn't change, shutting one eye, put my thumbnail at the bottom and then it's about there. This is really hard to hang on to. So um, about there, yeah. It's about a quarter, isn't it? Yeah. So if I put a marker here, here's the halfway mark between there and there, and then another half there, that is where that bottom lip is. So then when it hits the bottom, this bottom half of this curve should be the same down here. Distance, you know, from here to here, it should be about that. So it should start curving around here. I'm just going to measure um, where the bottom of this little band comes to. So I'm going to go from the top of here down to the bottom of here. At right angles, the pencil's got to be at right angles to my line of vision. And I'm going to, it's sort of from the top to the bottom of this front face of the cup is to there. And then that is the point there. So that looks like it's about a third again, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So it's about a third of the way down from here down to here. Divide up into thirds. That's where the bottom of that label comes. So this shape that this is tracing is the same as the top face. This top side is the same as the top face. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it down a smidge, just using my eye to work out how far down it should go. How far around does it come when I'm sitting here? I can't be drawing over here and because I've started drawing with my head back here. So you've got to always keep your body in the same position where you're looking at your reference material. So that's a smidge, like a sixth of the way over to there. That's parallel there and then it's got a curve around here. And then the handle, you can measure again the handle from the top of here to the bottom of here. Now note that I'm not putting my pencil in this angle. My pencil has to be at right angles to my line of vision because that's how I'm doing all the rest of it. So watch out that you don't put your pencil there to measure, straight up and down with the cup. It's gotta be where your eye is. From there down to there, the handle's about a quarter of the way down and a bit less than a quarter of the way up. So, a bit less than a quarter there, a quarter of the way down there, so it's going to be here. You can also measure how far out it comes. It's about half again, so from there to there to there, it's about half again. I'll just get the shadow in comes out further, shadow comes out further. And it up in here, I'll just do the one shadow. You can see that it sort of slips up to there. Left brain said it's low, it's low, but then I realised when I looked with my eyes that it wasn't that low. And here, this follows through here, and then there's this little slit here. 